Hi, you're here sewing with Cody, and today's video we'll work on the Bernie and Three series, and we are going to be setting up the machine to do some free motion quilting. It's very easy. Um, so the first thing we're going to do is actually drop our V-dogs. So on the side of the machine, you'll see where we can drop our V-dogs. So we're going to push that in, and it should stay in. So then, uh, one thing I would recommend if you have it, like right now, I don't have it at home with me, but it's the stitch plate. So right now, I have the five and a half millimeter stitch plate, which comes with it. But it is recommended, just like if we were doing embroidery on an embroidery machine, to change to a zero millimeter stitch plate. So that'd be a stitch plate that just has a hole. It actually looks just like this. This one's for the seven series. So see, we've got just two holes. One is for bringing up cording for something totally different, but that second hole is for the needle, and it's just enough room for the needle to penetrate, and that's what we want. It just gives us a nice, prettier stitch, and it doesn't allow for anything else to get pushed down or moved around. And also, we want to use a free motion foot. So this one right here is foot 44C. That's just one of the many feet you can use for free motion. Here's a number nine, which is one of my other favorite feet. Um, so it has a nice big opening. So you could use this, do a zigzag if you wanted to. Uh, but we're gonna use our 44C, which is just a nice clear foot. So here, there's not much really more we need to do. Um, but so we wanna make sure we're on a straight stitch. And as for your stitch length, it doesn't matter because you're controlling the speed. So it doesn't matter if your stitch length is zero, if your stitch length is five. Um, but the last thing we're doing on here, we changed the number one stitch. Go and see now it's a zigzag because our stitch width has been changed. So let's just hit the clear button to clear all those settings out. So make sure the needle's in the center position, the stitch length is, it doesn't matter, but we want to make sure that stitch width is back to zero because we don't want it to make a zigzag while we're trying to do some free motion quilting. So there is one more thing. So down at the bottom... I've got my table on, which tables is, is very important. So this is a slide on table that comes with it. But if you're doing some bigger free motion quilting projects, uh, I do recommend either dropping your machine in the cabinet so you have a much larger, flatter surface, or using the uh, uh, a so steady table. Like a, the most popular is an 18 by 24, but there's also like a 24 by 24 that would fit this machine. You just gotta make sure you get it for the Renina 3 series so that cutout is the same. It'll give you a nice big acrylic table. So something else you want to do is you want to give yourself a nice tail, a nice decent long tail. So, but when we put it back in our machine, we want to make sure that we don't use the thread cutter down in the machine. You just want to leave that tail and just close the door because what that's going to do, is going to allow us to bring up that bobbin thread. Not so much before we start quilting, but when we actually bring our quilt underneath our foot. So let me show you what I mean. So whenever we're quilting, oops, sorry, we always want to make sure we bring up our bobbin thread. So on this machine, you can just turn your hand wheel, one full stitch, so that needle comes all the way up, and then raise that foot up. And you can see here, if we pull the top thread, our bobbin thread comes up. So here's our bobbin thread, here's our top thread. So we're actually gonna to wanna to bring it exactly where I brought that top thread up to start stitching. So here you would just then start stitching. You can use your foot pedal or you can use your start stop button. And then this will allow you to start quilting. So it's all about the speed of your foot pedal. And so you can just start stitching along. And what I love about the 44 C foot is because it's got that nice big beveled edge. So if I come over my quilt for whatever reason, either I'm trying to bypass something or whatever, or I've got crazy quilt and we have the edge of my quilt, some of the other feet like this one potentially might get caught on that. And that's just not good. But this, by having that lip, that beveled edge, it will just, when I say that, <laughs> and it, it will just ride over that. So we won't have much problems. And that's what makes the 44C so nice. 
Um, but that's pretty much it when it comes to setting up quilting for the Bernina 3 series. And that's the case with almost all of our Berninas. Um, it's very easy to set up and get going. So the only other thing would be quilting needles. I like using a top stitch 9014. And then when it comes to thread, you can use whatever thread you want. That's one of my favorite things about sewing and quilting in particular is playing with all the different types of thread. The possibilities are endless. One of my favorite brands is Wonderfill. Um, they make some amazing specialty fun threads. All right, well, hope you all enjoy and happy sewing.